what's going on these messages are for scorpio sag cusp these messages may resonate if you have scorpio or sagittarius in your chart um you don't have to be a cusp for this to resonate you can it can resonate if you're a scorpio or if you're a sagittarius or if you're a scorpio sag cusp all right so let's see Spirit guides, angels, ancestors of my highest good. Allow me to channel the messages here for my Scorpio, Sagittarius. Cause any and all negative energy being sent to me shall be returned to sender instantly. I just went and go play with Bini a little bit. He not liking that I left him. Man. What is the messages here for my Scorpio, Sag? Scorpio, Sag. Scorpio Sag, please. Over our energy for Scorpio Sag. The King of Swords. Um, coming out the gate, this King of Swords could be mad at you. All right. Um, you could be the King of Swords. You could be mad at a magician. Somebody's mad at a spiritual practitioner, or they're mad about some type of spell work. This could be chaos. Somebody here could be talking to somebody that's head in charge. Yeah, the emperor in the hierophant energy. This could be someone here that runs some type of organization. Somebody here could be like coming to like the CEO or the owner or um, of some type of establishment. I don't know what this is. Yeah, king of pentacles, the king of wands, the hermit. Yeah, okay, let's see. Give me, um, damn, okay. We have the will of fortune. Yeah, I feel like somebody manifested their own destruction. Something here is coming out into the light. Okay, we have Leo energy. We have the Queen of Cups, Cancer energy, Capricorn energy here. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody's move, money is moving extra slow because of what they did. I feel like this King of Swords is pissed. This could be usually someone here that's an authority figure. I feel like whoever this King of Swords is, this person could be the magician. This could be the one that has the power or to do something or somebody has the power to ruin somebody's destiny, to ruin, to shatter somebody's fortune and success, Scorpio Sag. <clears throat> Why is the King of Swords like this? Why is the King of Swords mad? Maybe they, they try to, this could be in, in regards to some sort of spell work, okay? Um, manipulation tactic. What somebody used their skill to do or somebody used their skills to fuck up their destiny, shatter their destiny, and they're pissed about it. Give me the King of Swords. So a King of Swords is mad at this practitioner, this magician. A King of Swords could be trying to find out some information. They could be trying to dirt dig or get information on you or vice versa. This could be this, this masculine wanting to know the truth about what somebody did. Give me the magician. Oh. Caught a case. Sexual infection, sexual disease, rash, etc. <sighs> Somebody's trying to, they're holding a grudge on someone because not only are they bankrupt with low IQ, they also rejected an impersonator now. And the impersonator is no longer in, in, interested in this masculine. Somebody got, <clears throat> look, Scorpio Sag. This is like an energy that intentionally infected somebody with something and they just like, all right, bye, deuces. Somebody thought this was love and they got rejected. Give me this will of fortune shattered. This is someone here that did some type of spell work or they were trying to control something. This could be a, a STD that needs to be under control, Scorpio Sag. We have a happiness hater. This could be someone here that was hating on the fact that somebody wanted to be with another lover. So it's like, well, I'm going to intervene and I'm going to purposely give you an STD so that way you don't go and be with the person that you want to be with. And this King of Swords is pissed. Yep, we have child neglect, bad parent in reverse. Somebody does, is not a bad parent. Okay, they're just clout hungry or they're just making up some shit. What's the will of fortune shattered? Head in the clouds. Yeah, somebody's thinking about what they did. Their head is in the clouds. They're like, man, I messed up big time. Man, somebody's like, they know they messed up big time. What about this caught a case? I'm trying to tell you, this could be from an obsessive lover, Scorpio Sag. Somebody's unhealthy lover, this karmic here, they're waiting 
on a reading. Whoever this is, they're waiting on to get some type of reading or they're waiting to pull cards on someone to see if they wanted somebody back or if they got somebody back. Look, these energies have family issues. Anyway, yep, somebody wanted somebody's power, but they probably did it through sex or it's like, <clears throat> it's like, if I can give you this dis-ease, then I took your power away from you. Because now it's like you're 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 stuck with me. What's this King of um, Swords doing with looking for dirt on you or vice versa? Somebody's pissed. Somebody's pissed. He's not what you think, sis. He or she is not what you think. They actually get closer to people. I feel like you predicted this already, Scorpio Sag, or this was already predicted. What's the magician with this caught a case? Somebody caught a case from a copycat. And they done shattered their own destiny. This copycat could have been an obsessed third party who was a hot new affair. This person is haunted by this. Now they're trying to study this person because somebody is sick. And they're not picking up the phone. Or they're trying to see if this person has morning sickness. Or they're trying to see if this person is pregnant. Scorpio Sag. We have doing better without his ass. Yeah, somebody knows that the energy has messed up. So it's like, now nah, after I done ruined your destiny. I ruined your fate. I ruined everything for you. Now nah, I'm doing better without you. Bye. Damn. Call the case. What if I call the case through this obsessive lover? I'm seeing husband. What if I call the case? And a magician. Virgo, Gemini energy. Somebody could have heavy Gemini placements. We have wears glasses or contacts. Insecure lover. Mm, 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 mm. Whoever is this person caught a case from, somebody wears glasses or contacts and they're an insecure lover. Damn. Cricket pastor. Somebody goes to church, they spot through divination to cause blockages. Whoever this is, they could be a pastor or a preacher. Or somebody here is the head of the yeah. That's what we see in the emperor and the hierophant. Somebody also could be going to um, going to church, all right. And it's like somebody has gotten a good word in from their from the or they're sleeping with the pastor. They sleep. I don't know, man. We have subpoena, a beggar that can't pay their own bills uses others to get a leg up. We have hypocrites. What about this caught a case from this obsessive lover? All right, so T, V, A, E, C, and D could be the significant um, letters. This wanted to come out. So somebody has those uh, letters in there. Um, yeah, and a crooked judge. We have a crooked judge, a crooked lawyer. Damn, every somebody here has everybody in their back pocket. What's the messages with this called a case? Yep, this could be under investigation. We have Aries. We have crooked property manager. And we have a Leo. A Leo could be a crooked property manager. All right. An Aries could be under investigation. All right. Something here is going on with, a, with identity theft and everything. Aries Leo could be in on something. Don't know. Or you could be an Aries Leo. You could have some significant placements. We have Two Faced. G. Okay. <sighs> G X. H Y I Z. We have a wife. Caught red handed thief crook. Okay, so so a wife could be getting charges pressed against them. They could start, the initials could start with any of these names. Two Face playing both sides. Somebody's fake as hell, abusive, and an investigator. So there's an investigator that may be reaching out to you. All right. Some of y'all could have cancer placements with cancer on the bottom of the deck. We have Libra here. And we have, let's see if this is another sign that I'm going to pull. We have a liar. So 
A cancer could be lying on a Libra. A Libra could be lying on a cancer. Or somebody here is lying. There's a liar in the middle of a cancer, a Libra, or a, there's a Leo and an Aries here. Give me the overall energy. Somebody messed up. We have cheat. Yep. Somebody's a cheater. Gaining, cheating, gaining something in a uh, dishonest way, cheating. No loyalty, emotionally or physically unfaithful. Get in their way dishonestly. So I feel like somebody could be trying to get the tea to see how somebody's getting something or there's a cheater here. What's the message here? Somebody's trying to dig deep about some type of betrayal or how something ended as well. Like how did it end between you and that person? Mm. What's the messages here for Scorpio Sag? We have the devil in reverse. We have the five of swords. Yeah, this was a setup. This was a setup illness. Aquarius energy. We have the four of wands. Somebody may have to move or they playing mind games to get somebody to move or to evict someone or to have someone to leave a home. This could be like some type of arguments here going on because I feel like somebody wanted to win at all costs. And by them wanting to win at all costs, look where it landed them. The ten of swords. Having a burden. It's like somebody wants to reconcile, even though they done messed up. They they could be going through some bad fortune, a uh, bad turn of events here, especially when it has to do with their work. What's the devil here in reverse? The tower, man. It's like now nah, whoever this is, they want to take their power back now that this found their foundation is being shaken up. Or they could be dealing with some type of unwanted change. Now they don't want to be toxic anymore. Or they're like, oh man, I'm taking my I'm recovering from somebody here could be recovering from some type of addictions because I feel like something has blown up in their face. Capricorn, Scorpio, Aries energy. What's the tower? The devil in reverse. Somebody here could be taking their power back, or they could be going through some sort of huge awakening. We have the hierophant energy. This could be a government building or a government entity here that's getting exposed this could be a church getting exposed the crooked um pastor is getting exposed whoever this is that leads a lot of people scorpio sag is getting exposed with this hyperfin energy the crooked judge uh cricket property manager cricket um anybody whoever this is that runs this institution or this organization they're getting exposed what's the hyperfin energy yeah, the nine of wands, and they're scared. They're getting exposed for something. Or there's some type of chaos here happening. We have the nine of wands. Now this energy is scared. Now they're trying to, like, uh, put their faith in, in God, which they should have been doing already. But I guess they didn't want to do that. They wanted to be crooked or they wanted to be, I guess. So... Somebody here is dirt digging, or this could be like a government entity doing some dirt digging, trying to find some info. All right, this could be the head person in charge. It could be a king of swords here that's trying to find some dirt digging. I'm mean, just trying to get some type of dirt, but whatever this is that they find out, or maybe they can't find anything, they are pissed. Why is this king of swords? It's because they're blocked. Somebody is blocked from receiving some type of information. The seven of wands and the queen of wands in reverse. Somebody also could have been trying to find out if this person was the one that gave them this STD because they, they be getting around. And I'm getting, this could be, uh, it's like they gave it and then they blocked them. What did I say? There could be up to two feminine energies. I'm seeing a copycat here, right here. There could be another energy here that could have the same type of, whatever this is, sexual harass. And they're playing mind games. Wow, them birds are chirping. They talking. So yeah, this hierophant energy could be scared. And this could be a doctor that's scared or somebody here that runs some type of institution organ. They're scared of getting exposed. I feel like somebody was married and they're like, damn, I'm scared to get exposed because I'm married. Um, yeah, I'm married. I'm in a connection. And it's just like, man, damn, like if I if I get exposed then. I got to be seen as not toxic or this is someone that's suddenly trying to like leave out of some type of cult. Now they're like, oh my God, let me leave from this cult. Let me hurry up and run away after I done <laughs> cause all this chaos from cheating, lying and doing all this weird shit. This could be a pastor that's cheating, lying and, and they're married, right? And they have like, you know, they have a wife, of course, or a husband, 
But it's like they cheat on their wife every chance they get. They be doing dark demonic shit. But then they go and preach to everybody else. Like, oh, well, this, this, and that. Or you going to hell. This is why I don't go to church, okay? Because it's just it's the people. You know what I mean? It's not the word. It's the people that be sitting in these positions and they be leading the blind. I mean, the blind leading the blind. So with this energy, this is someone that sits in a high position. They're scared. The nine of wands. They're scared of something being exposed about them being in this cult. They're scared of this of this king of swords getting this information about them being in this cult, in a religious cult, to do something to harm other energies. All right, the Queen of Cups in reverse. Yeah, baby. And I'm getting, I'm getting these energies like could be in some type of cult and they're passing around this 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 ease. So a king of swords is this. Yeah. Why is this hierophant energy to down the wands? Why are they scared now? Why are they trying to put the yeah, because they know that somebody's coming for them. The knight of swords, somebody's coming to attack their ass. And they know it. They know it. Gemini energy, Sag, Taurus, Scorpio, Aries, Capricorn. Somebody knows that this person is fearless and they're not finna play no games with you. Somebody know that this energy is fearless. Once they find out this news from if they go to the doctor or whatever this is, I don't know if this energy has went to the doctor, Scorpio, Sag. But once they do, 16, 16 on the clock, somebody finna go, it's finna be, it's, it's, it's. Uh-huh. This person going to be quick on their toes. They going to whoop somebody's ass or knock somebody upside their head or whatever this is. Get, oh, Lord. I think I'm predicting something. Mm -mm -mm. Somebody's going to go get this Queen of Wands in reverse. This could be a Leo. That somebody's intentionally going after. This person with these Leo placements that has to move or that just moved from their home. They ended a contract with a... Ooh, baby, there's a Leo on the run, honey. This King of Swords is no longer... Top. This is the person they looking for. Look. There is a Queen of Wands in reverse that is gone. This person has left. No trace, no whereabouts, no nothing. This person is gone. Not answering their phone. They block these energies with the seven of wands here. They block these people. These people are coming after this queen of wands in reverse. They block them. Because they know what they getting ready to do to them. What's the five of swords and the magician? And I feel like somebody manifested this. They manifested for this masculine. Okay. Yeah, the star card. So now somebody's trying to heal something with a Virgo or an Aquarius. So that way they can play some mind games with this person. So that they can defeat this person to win at all costs. This could be a healer. All right. Virgo Aquarius energy. Yeah, this could be a lover. Yep, the Cancer and, and the Moon card in reverse. Child, this is a secret coming out about this Cancer or Pisces. What about this Five of Swords? Somebody is intentionally trying to attack a healer. A star seed, an earth angel, somebody that's very spiritual or stays to themselves or they're trying to play mind games with an energy. Something could be significant about this person. Somebody also is celibate. They're not sleeping around and not having no sex with no one. And they're trying to intentionally go and, and listen, I can't make this up. Scorpio Sag. Somebody's trying to send a person to go and give a love offer to another energy to infect that person. Who is the Five of Swords? Who is the Five of Swords? Mm -mm. The King of Swords. This could be an Aquarius. This King of Swords could be the Five of Swords. Now, this King of Swords looks different from this King of Swords up here. This King of Swords could be pissed, or they could be trying to win at all costs. This King of Swords could be the Emperor. This emperor, this king of swords could be trying to go and heal something with this nine of pentacles energy. Yeah, they're trying to reconcile with this person to hurt them. The three of swords. And I feel like this is being predicted. The high priestess was, was okay, so the high priestess used their intuition and they got away. Freed themselves here with the fool card. 
and decided to hold back. I feel like this was predicted that this energy wanted to come in with a love offer and get this nine of pentacles who is celibate, who is not sleeping around sick or to try to steal their energy or whatever this is. There's a king of swords and the emperor here. What are their intentions with this nine of pentacles? This king of swords. Their intentions was to steal from this person. They could be planning to rob, steal, destroy this nine of pentacles. What is the emperor and the king of swords intentions with this nine of pentacles? Six of cups. Why they want to reconcile? Why? Why do they want to reconcile knowing that they got an STD? The seven of swords. Listen, they want to steal. These energies want to come in and be dishonest. They want to try to betray this person, deceive them, and, and run away like they're stuffing themselves. Somebody could have also did some type of stealthy magic as well, um, Scorpio Sag, to the point where if you are this nine of pentacles, somebody could have did some stealthy magic. It could have been this emperor or this king of swords. They could have went to a magician to have this magician to do some type of magic to cover up their intentions, their true intentions as what as to what they're trying to do. So that way you can always see them as the right choice with the two of wands and the page of cups. I'm trying to tell you, you better go within and look. But it's like as soon as you go within and as soon as you look, the high, the um the hangman, they get caught. Somebody's trying to get you to sacrifice yourself, martyr yourself. That's what the death card is. What the hangman, this is a sacrifice. This is a death. Then with the hermit too as well. Yeah, somebody's trying to get someone killed. Or they're trying to have somebody to sacrifice themselves and hang themselves. This is the reason why they want to come in and reconcile. This could be somebody from your childhood. They want to come and provide some type of solution. Want to come and be in sweet. But it's like after they give you what they give you, Scorpio Sag, they want to leave. Or after they take what they take from you, they're going to try to stuff themselves and leave. They, if, if, you are, if you are a spiritualist, if you are into tarot and divination, and you, you're not going to get that. How can I put this? You have to go to somebody here with a higher ranking from this emperor and this king of swords. Whoever this is, you have to go to somebody with a higher ranking. So you could be seeing 717. That's how you know this reading is for you. If you be seeing 717, yeah. If you have an Aries in your, in your energy, a Leo in your energy, or whoever this is with them placements, they want to reconcile with you to get you sick. Because they know that your health is good or they want to try to steal something valuable from you because they know that you're wise or you're mature or you have money. Secret is coming out with the moon in reverse. The secret is out. A secret could be coming out about two same-sex lovers that could be recovering from a sickness, the five of pentacles. So this same-sex lover, I don't know. Okay, so say if they're not trying to intentionally get you sick. Somebody got sick from their same-sex lover. And it could be a king of swords and the emperor. Somebody here is on, um, this could be a same-sex reading, but I'm seeing feminine energy in here, all right? But I feel like somebody could have been trying to hide their ways or hide their sexuality. They're not saying anything. They lead people on to be confused, but then they come in and they use other energies for uh, resources. This person wants to come to you or whoever this is, somebody wants to come to this nine of pentacles energy for resources. These energies are not in a position authentically, not spiritually. It's, so, it's like somebody knows that you have a good job or somebody knows that you, 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 you're, um, you have a good career and they want to put a stop to that into it. What's the eight of pentacles? The moon card. And now the lovers is in reverse in the moon card. I feel like you just like, yeah, I don't want love. I would rather work or... You know what I mean? Um, the secret is, I feel like somebody here could be suffering in a connection or in a relationship. So either you could be putting all your, you could be just working a lot. I feel like somebody's detached or they made a bad choice in love. Maybe somebody thought that this love was like, I mean, this love was an illusion. It was a lie. I'm picking up also somebody's fear and commitment or somebody here is one-sided. Somebody here could be also doing spells on their ex. They could be doing spells because that somebody is not in love with them. Scorpio Sag, they could be doing spells because um, 
so that somebody can lose out on their investments and move on. This is like an energy that is waiting for someone to lose everything. And then it's like, okay, after you lose everything, once you hit rock bottom, I want nothing to do with your ass now. What's the moon? Cancer, Pisces, Gemini energy. What's the moon and the lovers in reverse? Somebody here is not in love. They're not in love or they're confused about their sexuality. They don't know if they want to be with a woman or a man. Ten of swords and a three of swords. But this is like the utmost betrayal. This could be like someone here sleeping with the same sex and going right back to their opposite sex lover and sleeping with that lover. Like after they done slept with this same sex unprotected, they go and sleep with the opposite sex unprotected. And they're passing shit around. What's the moon? King of Wands. Look, Leo energy. Something is one-sided with this person. They're keeping a lot of secrets. They just be doing too much. This person's all over the place. Like, I mean, they're manipulating. What's the King of Wands? What are they doing? This person's misaligned. Y'all don't have the same values. Give me the King of Wands. Child. This King of Wands. Yeah, the pay. They ain't have nothing to offer really like that. They take forever with these slow ass little bitty offers. I feel like you know that already. Somebody is paying a lot of money for readings. They keep getting a lot of readings or, or maybe their friend is a reader. Somebody's friend is a reader. They keep paying his friend like, well, let me get a reading or can I get another reading or can I get another reading to think that they're going to give any more information than what the fuck they already given. And then his friend gives the truth. Like, look, they was they came out of the cold. They're recovering from something here and then they blocked this person. They blocked the person that they was doing magic on or who, whoever this is that was doing magic. This all has to do with like, this is like, man, this is like pastors, uh, preachers, cricket property managers. It's like a lot of people is involved in some sort of scandal. I'm getting, give me this um King of Swords. Tell me who this King of Swords is real quick. Caught red-handed thief. A King of Swords is a thief here. Whoever this King of Swords is, honey, they're the thief. Or they could be telling you the truth about some type of thief. Or somebody's mad at a thief. I don't know. This King of Swords is, is the head of some type of organization. Who is this King of Swords? Insecure lover. This could be a masculine. This masculine wears glasses or contacts. This masculine is playing an attack on a divine masculine. This could be the crooked judge. Or this could be somebody that's judgmental. A king of swords could wear glasses. A king of swords, it could be a crooked judge that's a that's a thief. All right. A V T C E D. A beggar. They can't pay their own bills. Uses others to get a leg up. Could be being subpoenaed to court. All right. So I feel like this this could be the energy that's spying through divination. To cause blockages for other energies. They could be working together with this crooked pastor. Um, I'll be surprised if I see a crooked lawyer or whatever this is. What about this emperor? What about this emperor? Cars and other lavish items. Yeah, somebody puts their things in, in, in yeah, fake emperor. Yep, this could be an Aquarius. This uh, emperor energy, they could have Aquarius placements. They could drive a white truck, orange, blue, black, green, red SUV. They're relentless. They abuse their power. They're a liar. They're a terrible father. They're mean. They're aggressive. They're power hungry. Yep. Okay. Mm. They could be a cancer too. All right. What about this king of wands? This King of Wands is the Aries. So this Aries could be investigating something. What is this Aries investigating? Give me this Aries an investigation. See what I'm saying? Time to lawyer up. This Aries could be investigating a false prophetess. Or a false prophet. Which could be this pastor. That's the king of swords. So 
So whoever this Aries is, they looking into this false prophet. The King of Swords is the one that's the false prophet. Yeah. G X H Y W I Z. Investigator, detective. Somebody's gonna be reaching out. A wife. We have a Leo. This Leo could be a feminine energy. We have a cricket property manager, a scammer who's a scammer. We have a living girlfriend. We have sewing, braid, wigs. Who is the nine of pentacles? Somebody here is lying. It's a lot of liars here. A lot of people, it's a it's a whole organization lying about trying to steal money from you. This nine of pentacles could be a thief. We have locks. We have Virgo. I knew it. This nine of pentacles could be a Virgo, Scorpio type of energy. Yeah, brown skin, Taurus, involving children in drama, Libra. See, we have uncurable STD. Somebody has some stuff floating around up in here, man. Because they cheat. They do too much. They, they just do too much. Not as king of wands. They could be going towards this person or they could be trying to investigate somebody. They could be bald head. They could have Gemini placements. Or this could be a Gemini that's bald headed. Somebody here is trying to do some type of illegal eviction so that way they can rob or steal or take something from another energy. Home invasion, this could be a plot or a home ambush that's being like, come on, man. I feel like somebody is about to go to jail from the feds or they're going to get locked up so they could be trying to like run. But this plan is failing like miserably. Somebody has this judge in their back hand. That was your reading, Scorpio Sag. Hopefully this resonates to my Sagittarius's and to my Scorpios. Even if you're not on a cusp. But I'm going to leave it there. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn your notification bell on so you will not miss. Okay, let me see. What should y'all do? Look, enemy. The enemy is getting the tea on there trying to plot on somebody. What should you do, Scorpio? Sag, yeah. I feel like this person is trying to use you. They're being clingy. They want you to be submissive or they're trying to use you. Yeah, the soulmate in reverse. This is a karmic soulmate. Somebody here does not love someone. They're, this is not their life partner. They're not their best friend. This is not a stable and secure relationship. Somebody does not feel stable, secure. I feel like somebody gives, they overgive, or they allow themselves to be charmed and used. So somebody could be dealing with a karmic soulmate. Yep. I feel like this person could be like uh, this disciplined player that's inconsistent. They could be being consistent. They could be making a sacrifice. Yeah, somebody's sacrificing. Damn. Somebody's trying to sacrifice the mother of their kids or they're trying to sacrifice a pregnant person, a pregnant woman to make this person go through some type of tower here. Isolation and hermit, like... Damn, man. Somebody's trying to sacrifice their own mother or their kids. I feel like this person could be pregnant. This could be a, a pregnancy coming out. Damn. It's like somebody's removing a mask here. All right. That was your reading, Scorpio Sag. Like, comments subscribe turn your notification bell on so you will not miss any of my videos i'm gonna leave it there bye